Welcome to exclusively equine veterinary services and our recording on frozen insemination in your mare. If you have chosen frozen insemination for the best um, technique for your mare, on arrival your mare will be assessed for general health and well-being as well as their condition uh, and their hooves, uh, their vaccination status. And on arrival we weigh them on our electronic scales just so we have an idea of their general weight, uh, whether they're in a healthy weight range for their, for their height. After they're weighed, we then pop them into the crush and ultrasound rectal, rectally to determine where they are in their cycle. Um, a lot of people arrive and their mares are in season, which is great. Um, but if not, we still ultrasound them to see where they are in their cycle. This is done via rectal palpation first. So we have a feel of the reproductive tract and then we apply an ultrasound probe um, into, the, into the rectum. The female reproductive tract in the horse runs very similar to the rectum, so it's a lot safer to rectally palpate and visualise the reproductive tract rather than going into the reproductive tract. So once your mare has been palpated, uh, we then have a look at both ovaries uh, to see what size the follicles are and also what her uterus uh, feels like and, and how much edema uh, she has and what her cervix is doing. Once we determine when your mare is coming into season, we then follow her very closely with frozen semen. At Exclusively Equine Veterinary Services we do a insemination on ovulation and we don't tend to do a timed insemination with drugs. Uh, I'm very much of a believer of less drugs is better. Um, so we tend to do it more naturally and ultrasound your mare every six hours. And yes, this does occur throughout the night. We usually scan them at 5.30, 6 p.m. at night and then at 11.30, 12 o'clock in the night. Um, and then again, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. So that way we have the closest insemination time to ovulation and then we can get a, a far better pregnancy rate uh, this way. So ultrasounding during the night, um, as, as much as it is tedious, it is certainly um, uh, a thing that we do here at Exclusively Equine. Um, breeding is my passion, so I uh, don't mind getting up at uh, midnight to scan mares. Uh, and then once we've determined where your mare is in her cycle and that we can determine uh, that she is ovulated via ultrasound, uh, we then go ahead and um, prepare your mare for insemination. So this process involves cleaning your mare um, in the um, in the usually at midnight uh, and wrapping her tail and um, cleaning her vulva region to prevent any contamination when inseminating. And then we go through the process of preparing the semen. So once your mare is prepared, we then go and prepare the semen. So frozen semen is, called, is stored in liquid nitrogen canisters. Um, at Exclusively Equine we have a very good record keeping book. Um, so we go to our book to see where the semen is stored, in which bucket. Um, we look at the goblet colour and straw colour which is recorded when the semen arrives. And this process is done very quickly. So we normally identify the semen before we even open the canister. And then we, lo we identify the, can the bucket, remove the semen in a very quick fashion into a constant water bath at about 38 to 39 degrees. Um, you have to be very careful with this, liquid nitrogen can um, certainly splash and carry on and straws can break. So we apply the frozen semen into the, liquid no uh, into the constant water bath for 15 to 20 seconds and then we quickly remove it, we dry the straws and then we load them into a semen safe syringe. So uh, latex um, is harmful to semen so we have to use particular equipment when doing this. So once the, once the straws have been in the constant water bath for 15 to 20 seconds they are removed and we then dry them off carefully. Uh, sperm does not like water, it's spermicidal, so it will kill the sperm. So we carefully dry the straws and we then remove both ends of the straws so that the semen can be removed and put into the syringe. And then we load the syringe onto a, an AI pipette. We use a deep horn 
insemination technique at Exclusively Equine. So we use a longer AI pipette, which allows us to get the sperm right up into the, almost to the fallopian tubes in the mare's reproductive tract. So the sperm don't have to swim too far and waste too much energy. So once the straws have been deposited into the syringe, we then pop it on, pop the stopper back into the syringe, making sure we remove all sperm, all semen out of the straws. As you can see, the straws are very small. They don't have a great um, volume. So we like to make sure we get every drop out of those straws um, and then protecting the sperm from the semen from the light and the elements, we then uh, load it into our AI pipette, ready to inseminate into your mare. So once that's loaded, we then go out um, crush side and inseminate the mare, which is the same process as chilled semen. So we um, are going into the vulva and inserting the inserting the semen. So the mare is prepared. The only difference is with frozen semen, we put the AI pipette a lot further in and it goes all the way up the horns. With chilled, we just deposit it into the uterus just past the cervix where frozen semen we take it all the way up the horns to to where the um, to where the fallopian tubes are located and then after the semen has been deposited we then just confirm that the semen is um, of good quality and that um, we, we certainly had enough live sperm there doing this process before you inseminate into the mare it is a time factor you don't wish to be wasting time uh, and most frozen semen is, is of good quality, but we still like to confirm that um, potentially we haven't damaged it with the defrosting process. So we always just confirm that the, the quality is, uh, is good and that we have live sperm there. Um, this is done by microscopic examination and we're looking at three factors when we're looking at sperm. The first factor is the concentration. So is there enough sperm present to get the mare in foal? And of that that is present, how much of it is alive? Um, so how much of it is wriggling around? As you can see in the, the slide there, there's a few little wrigglers around. And of those that are wriggling, how many are moving in a forward motile direction? Some you can see are just chasing their tail and they're never going to reach the target if they're doing that. So they're the three factors that we look for. And then we wait 14 days and hope for pregnancy. Thank you for your time.